Sheep are a versatile animal for a homesteader. They can be raised for their wool, milk, or meat. If you have pasture and a small shelter, you have what it takes to raise sheep. We filmed our first attempt at raising sheep this year and it was a lot of fun. There are many breeds of sheep ranging in size. Some are better for their milk or meat and others are great for their wool. Our family chose to raise a smaller breed called the Shetland sheep and they are known for their fine quality wool. Come join us as we show you how we got set up to raise some sheep. Today we're going to build our sheep pens. We're going to use this area right here. Uh, I'm going to make two different pens, one for the ewes, the females, and one for the rams and the withers. Um, we're going to make them approximately 12 by 12 each. Each one will have maybe five, six sheep in it. Um, maybe build one more pen over here for a pony or whatever else we might get. We're gonna build it similar to the cow pen and we've got it all cleaned out now. We're gonna build gates on each one and we'll show you how to do it as we go. use a simple design, same amount of uh, cross pieces 
and then a diagonal brace that comes from the bottom hinge side up to here so I can't press down after, you know, or sag after years or kids hanging on it. So what you want to do is get your rough opening, make it a little bit less. Um, we use some strap hinges. And uh, this is just a simple gate, we just nailed it together. I'm going to go ahead and cut the cross piece for here. So you take the board and you set it on top and you want it to be flush with this corner and then flush with the top inside corner so that you can draw lines you sight down and you sight up here and then you cut that line and do the same over here Perfect. That's sixty three and three quarter. Sixty three and three quarter. It's not square, you want to get it square and, and readjust things because it's not gonna turn out nice. Normally I'd put the nails in straight, but these are quite a bit longer than the thickness of the board, so I'm going to angle them so they don't stick out too far. And uh, if you do that, you'd want to angle one this way and one that way, and then you'd have the most strength out of it. We're putting a gate here to separate the two pens uh, so we can keep the rams and the withers in one and the ewes in the other pen because they're going to be lambing soon and you need to keep them separate otherwise the rams can be too rough on the ewes and too rough on the lambs. So we're going to hang this gate now. We're using strap hinges and we'll screw them on in case they need to be adjusted because if you nail them then it's a pain to get them undone to adjust it. Good. Now we gotta put a stop there. The hinges only let it go that far. It'll snap off if you slam it shut. So we're gonna put a stop on. It's just a slight bit twisted, but none of these posts are exactly level or square or plumb or anything, so that'll work. We're spreading around some hay so that the sheep have a soft ground. We're bedding the pens down with marsh hay, which is uh, it's not as nice as straw, but it's cheap and they might actually eat a little bit of it, but it's. Uh, it was cheap and uh, it'll work fine, so that's what we got. We made a simple latch by nailing boards on here and here, taking a 2x4 and just making it so it can slide through here like that. And We'll probably add a couple more boards right here just to sturdy it up a little and then you can put like a little bolt or something here to slide it back and forth. 